welcome back. I uh, hope you've had a good half-term break. So um, why don't you send us some photos or a video of what you've been doing and um, it'd be nice to see what you've been up to. I'm sure you've found lots of fun things to do. So um, on with rainbows for today. Uh, so we've got a sort of a, a nature theme today. So our first activity is the uh, beetle drive which we're going to do with a dice. So you need a printout of the beetle and a little dice if you can find one around the house. So uh, this is how it works. It says at the top, roll six to start. So you can either play this on your own or with a brother and sister and you can both uh, see who's the fastest. So off you go with rolling the dice. Oh, I've got a four, five, Need that six, four, four. There we go, six. So when you get a six, you can colour in a spot. So uh, there we go, I'm going to colour in this spot here. Now all the spots are six. And then each time you have a go, oh, I've got another six, another six, so that's another spot. Okay. Each time you have a go, you colour in the right thing. So legs are a three, the body is a four, the head is a five, the feelers are two, and the eyes are one. So I've got a five now. I'm going to use a different colour to colour in the head. You can probably do a nicer job than me. Okay, and we'll keep going, see how I get on. Four. Right, what's four? Oh, the body. I'm going to do one, one of the wings in yellow this time and then hopefully I'll get another, another four for the other one. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, and the other four. The other wing. My, my yellow's not working very well. Your pens are working better than mine. Okay, three, that's a leg. So my beach is going to have green legs. So I'm going to colour in one leg, green. Actually, I might do multicoloured legs, they're all different. Okay, or you could do each leg, just have the different colours, it's up to you. And another four. I don't need any more fours because I've already done the body. Five. That's five. I don't need any more of those. I've done his head. Three, that's another leg. Let's have an orange leg. Uh, I still haven't got any feelers. Come on, need some feelers. Five, that's the head. That's no good. Oh, I haven't got eyes either. Six. Oh, we can have another spot. Two feelers. Right, that's one feeler. And five. And six is another spot. And keep going until you're all coloured in. So your bugs are all finished. Alright, so hope that's a lot of fun. So let's have a look at what you rainbows have been up to. And uh, we've got a, a lovely picture of Sophie's shield, uh, all about me. Uh, well done, Sophie. It's nice to see all, all about the things that you like and um, your favourite people and your favourite things. So well done. Okay, Rainbow, so you can either do this activity in your garden or even better, you can go out for a walk or a cycle ride and do it out and about preferably with a parent. So um, we need to print off the sheet uh, which is our scavenger hunt. I don't know whether you can see that but um, we've got on there lots of things to hunt for while we're out and about. So a stone, an interesting stone, a spiky leaf, a stick, a munched leaf, an insect, a bird, a flower, dandelion, clock, butterfly and something coloured blue, yellow and red. So I've seen lots of these things while I've been out and about recently. Hopefully you'll be able to find all of those things and tick them off. Or maybe colour them in when you've found them. 
So what you need is your paper, take that with you, and a, a plastic bag while you're going out and about. And the reason you need the plastic bag is because at the same time you need to be collecting interesting stick, little sticks and leaves because when we get back, or anything else that you find, little bits and pieces, maybe some little stones or even some flowers, interesting things that you've found, um, we're going to use them for a bug, bug collage uh, back at home. Okay, so I'm going to go and collect some bits for my bug, um, bug collage and hopefully you can find some interesting bits in your garden too. interesting bits and pieces. I've got some interesting shaped leaves and some nice bright yellow leaves which have fallen off the tree and some little sticks and also some really thin leaves that I thought might be good for making into feelers uh, and a pretty red leaf so uh, this one actually looks like something might have eaten it so that would be good for the scavenger hunt. Okay, so see what you can find and then we're going to find a piece of a nice piece of paper or card and some glue and get started on the collage. Okay, so it's a bit windy outside today so I thought I'd come inside otherwise all my bits and pieces will be blowing away. So I'm going to get on with making my bug. Um, you can too. So I've got a nice piece of green paper to start with. Now, um, you could draw it out if you like or you could just make it up as you go along which is what I'm going to do. So... I'm going to actually use this nice red one for its head. You need plenty of glue on to make it stick. Okay. And it's going to need quite a few legs. Mine's going to be an insect, so I think it's going to need six legs. I'm going to use these to make the legs, these nice leaves. Now, insects are usually symmetrical, so I'm going to make mine the same on both sides. That look on there. And the handy thing is, my leaves are symmetrical as well. I'll put one to match on that side. I'm going to use these two for its back legs. It's not look, looking much like an insect yet, but we're getting there. And then we need, I shall swap those over. That's better like that. And two more for its middle legs. Of course, if you're making a spider, you need eight legs, don't you? It doesn't have to be an insect. And it could be a bird or something else you found outside that you thought was interesting. Okay, so now we need a body and some wings. I'm going to use one of these for its tail, I think. Also, I might need some scissors, but actually my leaves are quite easy to tear up. But um, you could use a scissor, some scissors if you think you need some help cutting. Okay, I've got these lovely yellow leaves, which I'm going to use for wings. And the rest of the body. I'm just going to break off the stalks first. And these are going to be the wings. Okay, there we go. Two leaves 
those wings. Now my medium antennae and I've got a couple of bits of stick that I'm going to use which will make the antennae. So I'm going to stick those on there. And I'm quite happy with that. That's looking good. I haven't done any eyes. That's the only thing. Maybe if you can find something small that would do for that, you can add some eyes. Okay, so here's my bug. And the nice thing about this is everybody's will look different because it depends what kind of leaves and sticks and things you find in your garden or on your walk. So um, hopefully you'll, you can come up with some weird and wonderful ideas and send the pictures to me so that we can see how everyone got on. So Rainbows, I've been thinking about our tea party that we had planned for the uh, beginning of term that we weren't able to do. And it looks like we still might not be able to do it in the normal way um, by the end of term, but it'd be a shame if we don't do it at all. So um, I was wondering if maybe we could do a virtual tea party. So we all have our own little tea parties at home and we have rainbows together um, online. Uh, so you and your parents can all um, join in. And um, so um, you'll need to do a bit of preparation for that. Uh, maybe bake a cake or some little cakes, maybe some biscuits, uh, maybe just buy a cake or get mum and, mum and dad to buy a cake or maybe make some sandwiches. And I thought as a bit of preparation, we'll maybe practice doing that at Rainbows. So um, let me know what you think, if you think it's a good idea. And uh, we need to get your mums and dads to give permission for us all to meet up on online so um, we'll send them a message about that and hopefully we can do that and raise a little bit of money for the guide dogs which is what we were um, re planning to do so that's all we have time for this week rainbows so start thinking about what you're going to do for our tea party and we'll see you again next week and uh, send lots of pictures of everything you've been up to okay so have fun and we'll see you soon. Bye.